Hello friends, welcome to the DJ Voice channel. You all have come here with the latest and important update. So the friend will watch the video till the end. And if you are new to the channel, then you must subscribe to the channel. You will subscribe and click on the bell option given. Along with it, thousands of lone child asylum seekers have been left in limbo by the Home Office without a decision on their protection claims. With dozens waiting more than five years, official data has revealed. Home Office data shows that over the past three years, more than 7,500 children who travelled alone to the UK waited more than a year for an initial decision on whether or not to accept their asylum claim. Lawyers, politicians and human rights campaigners have condemned the delays and warned of the serious impact they have on the mental health and well-being of vulnerable children. The data released to the Scottish National Party reveals that 57 children have waited more than five years for an initial decision, a significant proportion of their lives. Asylum seekers at a drop-in centre in Folkestone can't fear of X-ray age tests in UK may force child asylum seekers to flee it more. The number of delays was much higher in 2022 than in the previous two years, with four times as many children waiting more than a year for asylum. With 1,083 delayed cases in 2020 and 4,103 in 2021, there's been a sevenfold increase in those waiting five years or more. For an initial asylum decision, with just five in 2020 and 35 in 2022. In some cases, there may be delays because of disputes over a child's age, later resolved in the child's favour. Kate Forbes, a Scottish National Party MSP and former Scottish Finance Secretary, condemned the delays in making initial decisions on children's asylum claims. These figures show the UK asylum system in crisis with weight soaring and innocent children stuck in the middle of the UK government's mess. She said, Every number represents a young and potentially vulnerable individual stuck waiting months if they are lucky, but more likely over a year, for a, a decision on their asylum to be made. Instead of creating a functioning asylum system, the Tory UK government's hostile environment model has left thousands of children stuck in limbo. This is completely unacceptable. Greater Manchester Immigration Aid Unit, which has expertise in lone children's asylum claims in England, said it had more than 300 children on its waiting list. So friend, this was some latest and important update, which was very important to share with you guys. Hope you like our latest update today. See you in next update. Till then give us permission. Thanks for watching.